Hi everyone, it's Tristan, and in this video, I'll show you how to create a music bot. Hey you, are you subscribed to the channel? No you're not? You're not subscribed to my channel. How could you? Could you subscribe please? Thank you very much. Okay, so it's been a little while since I didn't make any videos, but that was just because I was preparing the music bot series uh, for it to be one of the best music bot that you could have done. Okay, so let's get started. So first of all, you want to create a package called level player then in this package what you'll do you'll create a track scheduler so just like this track scheduler class and now we need to go on internet and you want to go get the dependency for level player on github a uh, link will be in the description so just right here using maven dependency you just want to copy this if you're using rattle use uh this one right here uh, but since we're using maven yeah we're going to copy this one go into your palm.xml under maven uh, if you're under maven just paste this right here and instead of putting x y and z we we'll put 1.3.75 uh, 77 just like that reload the madden project oh and i didn't saw that but you need to put um a repository tag also if you go oh we don't have any repositories okay so open a new tab uh new tag right here call repositories and paste uh this in here the repository of Debian Ocean. Okay, so back in our track scheduler, right here, we're gonna say uh, that it extends from audio event adapter. And we're gonna say a public final audio player. We'll just call it audio player. And a public final, and we'll create a blocking queue uh, with some audio, oops, audio track in it. And we'll just call it queue. Just like that then let's create a constructor let's create a constructor with an audio player as a parameter and then let's say that this dot audio player equals the audio player that we just passed so this audio player over here is going to equal this one right here that we've passed when we're going to call the track store class then let's say this dot q okay so our blocking queue will like just equal a new linked blocking queue so great right now we don't have any errors anymore but let's start creating new functions so the first one that we're going to do is a public void queue. I will take in an audio track, just like that. And we're going to say if uh, does on like uh, if exclamation mark this uh, player uh, or audio player uh, dot start track. And basically we're going to take in the track that we just passed. I'm going to say true over here. Let's open those like that. Let's say this dot uh, queue dot offer track. So basically right here, what it's going to do, it's going to requeue a new track if there's um, no track started basically it's gonna offer the queue is gonna offer a new track then right here we can uh, basically override methods oh it's not next next track it's override method it's on track n this one right here so on track n so it's a public void on track n so when the track is gonna end this method is gonna get called from audio event adapter and if you want to pop out this little menu right here it's pretty simple you just press on alt then insert on your keyboard then you can go to override methods and override the uh the method I've just override so on track and then you're gonna say if and reason dot may start next I'm gonna say next track and right here let's create the uh, next track function as you can see we don't have it we've got an error over here so let's say public void next track uh, let's open those right here uh, let's just create a function basically of it just like that and let's say this dot player dot or audio player dot start track it's gonna be this dot q and we're gonna pull the queue, so it's gonna give us um, the next uh, music, basically. Over here, let's just put it in false. Okay, I, I don't really remember what is um, this building doing right here, because as you can see, the variables are um, are not showing. I mean, over here, you need to put true, and over here, you need to put false. Okay, that's how I did it, and it works fine. Okay, so our track shooter class is now done. Um, let's create our next class. So let's right click on Lava Player, and let's say Audio Player Send Handler, just like that. So we're gonna send the handler of the audio player basically uh and we'll just it will all get done automatically by a class that already exists which is the audio send handler uh from uh, lava player basically so let's click on implement method let's implement all three let's remove all those comments because we don't need them okay so is opus ratio let's just say true because it's always going to be opus provide 20 uh, millisecond audio i guess and uh, that's how they uh, we can call it so we're going to create a final buffer uh that we'll call buffer basically let's say and it's gonna equal and let's open a uh, double parentheses like that let's say buffer over here then let's say this dot buffer oh but i'm kind of dumb yeah we needed to create um uh, those variables basically because they're not in the uh, implementation it's pretty logic so we need to call the um audio 
layer right here and just instantiate a uh, give it a name like that and a private final byte buffer also just like that so this is going to be our buffer and then a private final mutable audio frame which we'll just call frame and let's create our constructor so we can uh, do this basically the same thing as earlier on uh just click on alt insert but now what we want to do is remove those three so basically this dot buffer will equal by buffer dot allocate 1024 then the frame is just going to be a new mutable audio frame let's say this dot frame dot set buffer basically our buffer if we go back over here we can instantiate the buffer and just say dot flip then let's say return over here let's cast by buffer uh for our buffer like that and as you can see everything works uh for this one that's pretty cool then the can provide let's say this dot audio player dot provide this dot frame okay so that is it for this class now let's create a new class let's call it guild music manager and then what we're gonna do we're gonna say public final audio player which is gonna be our audio player again and uh, let's say public final track scheduler which we just created it so let's call it scheduler oh this one we can pass it private uh so it's gonna be a private final audio player send handler and we'll just call it send handler and let's create our constructor so that's like that <laughs> it's pretty unuseful what i've did but it's okay and we're just gonna pass in an audio player manager should be a manager like that so this dot audio player equals manager dot uh it's cray player yeah just like that this dot scheduler equals a new track scheduler and we'll pass the audio player this dot audio player dot add listener this dot scheduler so we'll add our scheduler to um, a kind of event basically so we'll listen for it and this dot send handler just equals a new audio player send handler with this dot audio player then let's create a public uh, function over here so public audio player send handler we're gonna say get send handler and we will return this dot uh, send handler so that is it for this class also then let's create a new class and this will be our last one our biggest class basically so it's called the player manager and this is gonna be our biggest class to do so let's get started so we want to say private static player manager and we'll just create an instance of it so just like that we'll just call it instance then we will say private final map okay so we'll create a map of a long uh and plus a guild music manager just like that it's going to be music managers let's import the map then let's say a private final audio player manager which will be an audio player uh would be called audio player manager then let's create our constructor so player manager just like that let's say this dot music manager is equals a new ash map so that's the first thing that we need to do this dot audio player manager equals a new default audio player manager and the audio we can say audio source managers dot register and we're going to restore remote sources this dot audio player manager and then we can co just copy this and instead we will register the local source so when that's done we'll create a function to get the music manager so guild music manager get uh music manager just like that of uh some guild basically uh so this is going to be a gda guild and we will say return this dot music managers dot compute if absent guild dot get id long and right here it's going to be a guild id it's going to be a lambda expression basically so just like that or you can add uh you can close it basically and we're going to say final guild music manager which is which we call it guild music manager equals a new guild music manager of this dot audio player manager and let's say guild get audio manager uh let's say set sending handler and it's going to be the guild music manager dot get send handler the function that we just created then let's return our guild music manager okay as simple as that okay then let's say public void load and play so now we start getting something pretty interesting so we need a text channel and a string oh not an equal a string uh, which will be our track url let's say final guild music manager music manager equals this dot get 
music manager of the text channel dot get guild. And let's say this dot audio player manager dot load item. It's going to be ordered of the music manager, the track URL, and it's going to be a new audio load result handler. So as you can see, it implemented a bunch of methods. We can close this right here. So first of all, the track loaded, and we're almost done with this. Uh, no worry, guys. It's the longest video on the channel for now. So right here is going to be music manager dot scheduler and we're going to queue this audio track. So that's the first thing that we want to do. So we're adding it to the queue, which is the function that we've created earlier. Then let's say text channel, that's send message. I want to say adding to a queue. Let's say double star. And that's going to be a bit of formatting. I don't know what we call that. And then let's say dot happen. And basically over here, we're going to say audio track dot get info dot title. Then we're going to append again, which we're going to say again, this weird little symbol uh, by, oops, let's say append again. And over here is going to be the audio track, not get info dot the author of the song. Let's say append. And that's this will be the last one where we close it just like that. And then we can just hit a dot Q. Perfect. So that's done for the track loaded. Then for the playlist loaded, uh, we're going to say final list. And we're ain't gonna load a uh, full playlist. You'll know why. I I'll show you why after. So over here it's an audio track, and this is gonna be the tracks, and it equals the audio playlist dot get tracks. Now we're gonna say if tracks is empty. So if it's not empty with this exclamation mark right here, do not forget it. We're gonna say music manager dot scheduler dot q, and it's gonna be the tracks dot get zero. So we're going to get the first track of Q, basically, of the uh, basic, no, uh, we're getting the first track of all the tracks that we've searched, basically, because this is going to be related to a search, because when we're going to play a certain song, let's say I say uh, to the bot play, um, I don't know, hello, okay? So the name of my song is supposed to be hello, but the bot, what it will do is the bot will go on YouTube, you will search hello, and then you will get the track zero. So the first track, basically, you will get it. So then let's say text channel dot send message. And actually, let's just copy all of this up there. And now audio track right here, it's basically going to be tracks dot get zero instead. Let's just do it like that. And as you can see, everything works. Okay, so that is it uh, for this class, uh, at least for today. And now let's do our command play. Let's start with that. So let's go into command. Let's say new Java class. Let's call it command play. And let's start executing uh, our play command. So we're going to say extends. Uh, no, it's not in extends. It's going to be implements i command, which is our uh, little library. Then let's implement all of that right here, all of those. Okay, so no worries if my uh, class is not the same as you. I will send you uh, the new class, the new updated library also in this uh, video description. And basically what I've did is I've modified the execute right here. So it now execute uh, some arguments. And uh, we now get the execute arguments basically. And it will all again change. I'll probably refactor it. I've got a new uh, command idea, new how to call it. It's going to be command executor and this right here will just be command executor also. But for now, that's pretty good like that. And we can set an help message. Uh, this command is to play music. I don't know. So just like that. If it need owner, so if it needs the owner permission to get executed, uh, so for me it's going to be false. Then the command name is going to be play, and now let's execute some code. So let's say if uh, exclamation point uh, executed args dot get member voice state. So yeah, it's now implemented to uh, get make our life easier basically. So we can get the member voice state. So the voice state of the member that sent the command. Um, we can say dot in audio channel just like that we're gonna say event dot uh no it's not event oh why okay i need to call this event it's just way easier like that so event dot um get text channel send message and we're gonna say you need to be in a voice channel to uh actually for this come in to work and then let's queue that perfect and let's also return the code right here okay then let's say if exclamation mark again event dot get self self voice state just this right here dot in audio channel again now let's say final audio manager audio manager equals event dot get guild dot get audio manager just like that and let's say final voice channel equals member and uh, not equals but not yet 
It's going to be member channel equals. And it's going to be voice channel. So a uh, cast of voice channel. And it's going to be event dot get member voice state dot get channel. Then let's say audio manager dot open audio connection. And it's going to be uh, from the member channel. So basically this right here is if the bot is not in the Nojo channel, it will get the member audio channel because we know that is in one. And it will basically open the audio connection in it. So the bot will connect to this channel. Then let's say string, which will be our link equals a string dot join. Uh, this is going to be the delimiter, which is just a space. And it's going to be event dot get args. So yeah, this is also something that I've added to um, the execute args class, which we can just get the args, basically coming args. Then we're going to say if exclamation mark is URL, the link basically right here, we're going to pass the link. And no worries, we're going to also create the is URL function. So this is going to be to check if it's in URL or not. We're going to say that link equals uh, YT. So for YouTube search two dots plus the link plus this boss uh, space. No, it's, <laughs> oh my God, space audio. OK, so why am I putting space audio? It's because it's going to execute a YouTube search of the song name that you've put and then after it's automatically going to put audio. So it's just to make sure, OK, that sometimes we're going to always or most of the time going to get the official audio music on YouTube and not getting like something like the official music video. OK, so it's more going to search uh, for the audio. So for the official audio or music audio or whatever, you know, and then let's say player manager dot get instance and is yeah, I forgot to create the instance in it. Yeah. So right here, I didn't create the instance. So to do that, it's going to be public uh, player manager get instance will basically return our instance right here. But let's do a little check if um, basically instance equals no, let's say instance was new uh, player manager, just like that. So let's create a new player manager and then let's return it. Okay. So right here, we're going to say get Oh, um, I forgot to put static over here. Okay, so now we should get the instance. Yeah. And we're going to say load and play for the event.get text channel and the link of the video. Then let's say public is URL. Let's input a string, which will be our URL just like that. I forgot to put void over here. Why am I put I'm forgetting to put those um, modifiers? And it's also not a void, it's going to be a bullying. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to try to create a new URE with the URL that we've passed in. Uh, so from Java net, I guess. Yep. So then let's say uh, if it works, we're going to return true. And otherwise, we're going to catch an error, which is an URE syntax exception. And we're going to return false since it's not in URL anymore. OK, so now everything should work. Now let's go into our bot over here. And we have enabled the cache flag voice state. Make sure that this is enabled. And then we're going to add this command. So it's going to be command play. Just like that. Let's start this bot. And let's check it out. All right now, I've got YouTube bot. Let's go into a voice channel. Sorry, my guy, I've list for your channel. But yeah, let's say play. And we'll, we'll say, I don't know what, which music to play. Anyways, I'll just mute it for YouTube. But I just do mic times. OK, so it's just, oh. And yeah, th this command is not was not recognized. Why not? Oh, I'm kind of stupid. So let's just restart it as if nothing happened. Let's say play Mike Dimes. Now it will work. OK, nice. So as you can see, it works. OK, the bot is speaking and it's playing with Mike Dimes. And basically, if I say uh, play, I don't know what, let's say put Drake. There we go. Drake Child's play audio and lyrics. OK by Rap Genius. So yeah, it's just going to add uh, those music to the queue and it's going to once a music is going to get uh, it's going to finish, basically it's going to add the next one, next music. And then the next video is what we'll do is we'll create a bunch of other comments for it. But for this video, that's going to be it. And we'll see us in the next one. Peace.